Hello out there. Today we are going down to business with Bitwarden. As it was supposed to be the case. Um, I've done so a couple of previous videos where I was speaking about actually training up Bitwarden and doing a more extensive video where I'm going to show up how it works and um, what you can get and gain out of it and basically what are the advantages of a password manager in our instance is going to be Bitwarden. Yeah, we obviously have to go to Bitwarden and I created an account on Bitwarden at that point. Just have to figure out somehow the credentials. Mm. And then we need to log in, of course. Uh, over here, that's going to be Linux apps. <coughs> that was on Yandex. And my oh yeah, I think that's 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 the thing actually. We didn't create an account yet, so um, we are going to do it right away. We'll be creating an account an account together. Um, it's pretty straightforward with Bitwarden actually. Um, let's see first in which format is Bitwarden um, accessible. So, um, as I say in the previous videos, you can get it as an, as an extension in most of the major web browsers, those ones, that's a lot, Google Chrome, Mozilla, Opera, uh, Microsoft Edge, Vivaldi, Brave, and Tor, that's a lot of web browsers, and um, you can also access it through their API, they have a REST interface that you can access, just, you know, it demands programming, so we are not going to touch it. During this video, we are going to touch the two of them. We will be doing the. Um, where is it yet? We will use this, the, 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 the installation itself. We will use it as a Linux package, a Debian package, and we will be using it also as an extension, add it as an extension to our browser, to our Mozilla Firefox browser. We do it now. So, um, the first thing that we should be doing is obviously to create an account, create a Bitwarden account um, they ask for our email address and then they want to know our name and our master password we have to figure out one um, I don't really have any password in mind obviously and um, mm, 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 mm. let's try to put something very 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 simplistic that we can actually recall right it's just for the sake of, of this for the sake of the video anyway so it's like okay no big deal um okay uh the hint i don't want a hint i don't want to save it a uh, weak password is fine it can be weak for the video we don't really care so that's the thing and then we just have to type in the password over here it we should be good to go actually um i don't think there is something more to do i think that's fine i'm just going to get this out of the way um i think that's it and then we just get in and we are in um don't need to save it as you can see that's the vault that's the um, web interface online um you obviously we Obviously, don't have any password uh, registered on Bitwarden yet. So, what we are going to do is that, firstly, we are going to add the extension of Bitwarden to Firefox. How do we do it? <clears throat> we come over here on Firefox. They have an option about uh, I think it's server add-ons, and then we have to go to I think it's extensions or plugins extensions that might be it and then here we might have to type in Bitwarden and they will look for us they will look for it online and then it's even a recommended um, actually it's a recommended uh, plugin which means that it's very 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 trusted by Firefox Firefox which is a very mm, close community I want to say they are very there are people who aren't easy with others they really like to to make life difficult to others i mean it's a very close community that's what i mean but seeing that they actually trust bitwarden it's a good sign so yeah let's try to keep up with this and uh, add it to firefox it's very straightforward you know 
Firefox add-on, add-on, it just works. So when you add it to Firefox, you have it over here uh, in this bar on top beside your your profile um, image if you have one if you are if yeah if you're using your profile icon I want to say and then over here you have um, you are also you also have it it's a kind of a sidebar uh, you can log in both ways it's not really important but I will be using the sidebar so we have to log in over here and then uh, yeah that's what is already registered in my file in my Firefox uh, cache and uh, this do we have it right I hope so let's just give it a shot and let uh, the ask us if they want to yeah just remember it's fine don't do it at home guys never remember things never 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 I'm, I'm free to do what I want to do right this is it's a video it's, it's my video I do what I want okay um, over here we are in we are, we are in bit one as you can see as you can see over here is not gray anymore it's blue which means that we are in we are actually locked into bit one and uh, we just have to keep pop uh, what do we do now uh, we just have to find a website which is pretty common or something where we can actually create a user account okay we are going to try to register to Trello and hope that everything is gonna be fine it should be very 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 straightforward um, it's very easy if it wasn't to, to do this kind of things as you can see uh, we just have to enter to, to provide a couple of stops and um, over here we don't have a password to Trello yet the amazing thing about Bitwarden is that over here we have the opportunity to just click on add a login and it basically proposes me a login for Trello. What I usually used to do is to remove everything which comes after the domain name and I remove also everything which comes before the real domain name which means that if there is 3w here I will remove it also um, because then it's, uh, this, those credentials are going to cover every single um, um, website basically um, which have the Trello.com as domain is going to be I don't know um, app dot trailer can can be covered by this uh, exact same um, those exact same credentials and I don't know login dot trailer dot com and these kind of things that's that's what I, I used to do and um, yeah over here we don't have a password yet so we are going to click here to generate a password the amazing thing here is that we have even options we can actually set the password as we want depending on what we want it to be like right um so if we want a um 12 characters password instead of the 10 character password which comes by default then we can just set it to be 12 characters and uh yeah we can define some more options here we do we want the upper case stops do we want the lower case do we want uh, numbers we do want to avoid ambiguous characters definitely and then there's that option which allows you basically to see everything else that you have been uh, generating as password before like everything uh, in your kind of cloud um, uh, password generation password generation session i want to say um over here yeah i just have to click here basically after you have set all the settings over here you just click here and then you get a new password generated for you that easy so simple and then you click on select and then uh, save that was it and then we have a trailer password now what we have to do afterwards is just to click over here and then here and we have our trailer informations that are fed that are uh, feed in for us so here we are going to say we are called Linux apps and we try to create an account It went well it went smoothly so uh, hello my name is Linux apps and I'm interested in Trello for choose something um, personal goals dive right in yeah but that, that's the idea right so we are in Trello and what does okay what's this about um, 
Override password? Are you sure you want to override? E, uh, l, I don't know. Uh, let's say um, yes. I'm not sure what was that about. Probably because I'm using both, right? So I will just remove this and just use this one. I think it's more straightforward over here. But here you can see that I have a trivial password. Something, oh, let's try to do, to go on Google, right? Here you will see I don't have any Google password because there's no one here or two or whatever, right? Over here I have a one, which shows that I have one trail password registered. Um, what I will do now is that I'm going to log out and I will log in again and uh, everything should be very, very, very quick, very, very smooth. I just have to click here with Bitwarden and then click on my password and log in and I'm in. It is that simple to work before the. So basically, the only thing you have to recall is the master password that you're setting at the beginning. And uh, that's the, the thing that you shouldn't give away. You have to make sure that that stuff is secure because otherwise you can be screwed. Um, yeah, as you can see, we don't have a Google password. It makes completely sense. We don't have a Google password. And um, I just want to show you a last thing, guys, before... Um, before being done with this video so it's going to be I'm just going to add um, over here I will add another trailer uh, login just to show you that uh, this counting stuff is actually working it's actually something which can make you figure out if you have many more than one password for a single website and then you can you know it's very 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 convenient I think uh, Actually, I have to say no. Um, what's, what did I just do? Okay, I have to add a new password, right? Um, what I will do here is that I'm going to add something which is completely random. It doesn't really matter, right? It's just, I'm just trying to show you guys um, how this is being interpreted. I just want it to get to turn into two. That's the point of this last maneuver, right? Um, all right, password. Yes, I want to override the password which is there. Um, generate again and uh, select. Yes, that's what I want. And uh, as usual, I will remove everything after the domain name and I save the thing. And here you can see that I have two passwords for Trello. I have a password for Linux apps and I have a password for Linux apps too. It is amazing. I know, I get it. Um, but uh, that's, that's I, think, I think that's about it. I I don't think I have more to show about uh, Bitwarden, um, but I will be doing a lot of videos, more videos about Linux apps in general. Um, or maybe I am actually forgetting something. I am actually forgetting to review the Debian version of Bitwarden, right? I am forgetting to do it. So. You can download it as an app image. When you download it as an app image, it's just a file that you have to execute. I want to do it in a more, you know, classical way. So I will not get the file. I will get, uh, instead I will try to look for, where is that stuff? Mm, more desktop installation options. I will look for the dev. No auto update with the dev version is fine. I just want to show you guys how it works. Do I have an installer on this machine? A dev installer on this machine? I hope I do have one. Should come by default if Ubuntu, it does. Yeah, so we install it. And then we are going to log in to our... Uh, we're going to log in into our Bitwarden account and uh, see how it looks the application of Bitwarden. It should be the same no matter whether you're on, on Windows or Mac OS or yeah it should be fairly the same or Linux. I am on Linux now. So that's it Bitwarden. Uh, my password my username is this one and then my password is this one. From the beginning and 
give it a shot yeah that was it and as you can see we created two Trello accounts and that is a Facebook account that I created out of the video so um, yeah but um, that's that, that's about it and uh, I think the Bitwarden application is a bit more extended you can do a lot more with it than you can with the extension of course I think it kind of makes sense you also have up folders over here you can organize your passwords in folders you can have favorites you can go to yeah you you, you have actually logins but you can also have actually cards or like you know your credit cards or mainly your credit cards and things so um yeah and as you can see we have visa mastercard uh, american express discover yeah these kind of things uh identity secure notes you can synchronize the vault get everything from everything which is online you can generate password directly from here and um yeah that's it that that's about it for the video um I think that's it now. Um, I will be making a lot more videos like this, like this Bitwarden tutorial. Um, it's going to be as much as dead as this one has been because I, I won't take my time reviewing things. Um, if you guys are interested to keep in touch, then uh, you can subscribe. Very, very, very appreciated. It will be appreciated. And uh, don't forget to ring the bell to get notified when I'm going to come up with something else. And on that note, see you guys. Bye-bye.